Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode eight of the Level With You show. It's a weekly video game podcast where four guys from Western Massachusetts talk to you about the latest video game news, as well as what they've been playing and whatever all sorts of stuff they choose to discuss. Uh, some big stories this week. Uh, we're a couple of weeks removed from E3, so you know things are starting to happen again. Um, also, this is our first time in two weeks that we've been recording on the right day. Feel Yay! good about that. Yay! Uh, nice should schedule. Be up on podcast services tomorrow. Uh, we're on Google Play, iTunes, Podcast Addict, um, Stitcher. So. You, you ever watch yourself watching? Yeah. You, it's like a mirror. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. um, now I can cringe from, in real time. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, with me today we have Tyler Hadley. Hey, I'm Tyler. <laughs> uh, Anthony Duart. I don't get a cool name. I do art sometimes. All, all right. Time. And uh, Action Brapton down there. At the yeah, he's going. back. I'm back. Action Brapton's I'm back. back. I'm back. If you didn't back. watch last week, he wasn't here last week. They didn't listen. I wasn't here. And I hear that you bought a car. I did. Woo! I get to go pick Take it up tomorrow. Congratulations. Fine. Yep. Fine, fine. I'm, he's a car I'm boy. Back on the road, I'm so sure. to speak. You so. need like a car. We're trying to race for pinks. I'll be at the Big Y parking lot Sundays, 9 p.m. <laughs> Gift cards will suffice as well. Yep. What kind of car did you get? I got a 2014 Toyota Corolla. Great nice. car. Oh, I yeah. love me some Corollas. Oh, yeah. I How got many that. miles? I'm at 33,000. Whoa. Yeah, I'm financing. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the new word for being an adult. So I guess I'll technically own it in like six years. Oof. But, you yeah, know. Yeah, it seems a house. Right, but <laughs> came with a hundred thousand mile um, ten year warranty. Very nice. So uh, I'm I'm ready. Very cool. Ready to be driving. So uh, what's everybody else been up to this past week? <laughs> I don't know. Hung out. I just want to say, if you haven't tuned into the show before, we usually have a little bit where we just sort of catch up and is non gaming related. So we're gonna get to the game shortly. Mm -hmm. Just in case you're confused, we we do mostly talk about video games. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a Level With You show. Welcome. Yes, yeah, we appreciate it. Welcome to the big show. Um, big action show. We, so, should do, we should do that more often. We should say the name of the show. <laughs> just like, introduce yeah. it, yeah, yeah. yeah. We should introduce it at the end and throw everybody off. <laughs> Hi, it was I Level I With I said you. it to start it, but... Hi, you know, Level With Anyways. We so, mostly come out at night. But mostly. Mostly. All right, we hear, we've heard Brandon's news. What's going on with no, you? No, I got way more. Oh, you got Are you way kidding more? Me? Okay. <laughs> All right, I started Cave Story. It's a great which game. I love that soundtrack, but I also started Shovel Knight, and I love that soundtrack. Oh, yeah. So I've been playing some nice little side scrollers. We're going to get to the gaming shit. No, too. I want to tell them. <laughs> this is my time in the spotlight. Oh, all right, all right. You're not going to give me time to talk about Pokemon Go, so I have to talk about it now. Nope. Why not? Exactly. Well, you All right, go ahead. No. All right, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, well, there's a new update for the gyms. So there's a whole new gym system going on now. So there's a rave at the gym. A rave at the gym. Not a rave. <laughs> this is every convention ever again. We got a bunch of raves at Kids the gym. Kids with light-up gloves dancing around. <laughs> Overdosing on the floor, rolling around. Get out of here. I saw that happen once at a convention. That was no, scary. but the new, the new system is pretty cool. It's uh, more team-oriented, which is cool. Um... You get a lot more gold if you can hold gyms for an extended period of time. But a cool little, uh, now you look, you get a little picture of your trainer with your Pokemon before you challenge a gym now, so that's pretty neat. I didn't know you could do that. So for yeah, you, you those that know. may have forgotten or don't know, when you hold down a gym, do you actually have to be on the premises, or is it like you oh, go, yeah. oh, you do? Oh, yeah. You can leave it, like you can leave, well, you I mean, leave you a Pokemon leave them there, there, and you're like, I'll pick you up at six. Because weren't you saying something about how there was a guy that worked at a Dunkin' Donuts that always yeah. had, had like the gym down, what was but when he would go home Nark. from work, he would lose McKenzie. it. Uh, Narc kill. <laughs> yeah, he was, I remember we were like ordering, we were at the drive through ordering from Duncan one morning and he's over there in his full getup. This is like maybe 10 or 11 and he's just like oh they're full getup just looking at his phone and he's walking over and he comes over and he goes are you guys are you, what was your name your first name did you change it? I forget I've had so many names. He like called their screen oh, names. No, he's just no, like I've been Hoagie Man since day one. Hoagie Man, yeah. He's like he's like who the fuck's Hoagie Man and Mrs. Nesbit? And I was like oh that's <laughs> us. And he's just like you guys the fucks that keep coming take our gym and I was like I, you mean your gym, your gym. you're <laughs> team instinct you're yeah. the only one and I was like you're the only yellow one man he was wearing a team instinct shirt too <laughs> he's, really, he's very nice though he was very very nice because he knew he was the minority and oh he picked gosh. wrong he picked a color and he picked wrong you fuck taking my gym what, what is this 
And we were you like, see oh. my life, man. We I'm ruining my life. Yeah, pretty much. We met this nice uh, uh, redneck truck fellow called uh, Irish Mischief. He was real nice. Oh, we met yeah. Him at the early mug. Yeah. And he was like, you got you, you boys taking down the gyms? And I was we like, yeah. He did yeah. not talk like that. <laughs> he did in my head. <laughs> Like in Texas Pete. He did, or he had the gap too. He was like, yo, we're going to go to the, 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 the part. Something about the gold yo, mine. <laughs> he was like Bill Cosby if Bill Cosby was white and redneck. So not Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah. Um, not melting eyes. But I've been good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, uh, sure thing. Uh, I watched my boss's dogs this weekend, and they were adorable. That makes me wish I had some dogs again. Cool. Uh, I had one dog a while ago, but that's when I was younger. What kind uh, of dogs are they? Uh, What's, I keep I, I've heard it like ten times because I've asked like what's the real dog name for wiener dog? Dachshund. Dachshund. Okay, There's two little dachshunds. I forget that too. Yep, I was like, I got hell? two dachshunds. <laughs> two dachshunds, and then an older lab who had a cone on his head, and he just I felt so bad for him. He was so nice. So yeah. when he got in the trash, that was the only thing I was upset about. But he just ate the pasta, left all the napkins and everything, didn't chew everything else up. It was good. Nice. Yeah. Dogs don't normally use napkins. No, that's what I was. <laughs> what I've read anyway. Cool. Yeah, that, that's all I've done pretty much. Just worked all week and yeah, average. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's no, no, fun. Tyler, um, what's going on with you? Well, not yeah, not a whole lot. I played some dude that did some more house stuff. Um, <laughs> I think last week I talked about how I'm trying to buy another house. This morning I had the inspection. Buy two houses? <laughs> no, <laughs> my one house. One, two house. <laughs> one, two switch. <laughs> one, two house switch. <laughs> One two half switch arms. One two half switch turn my damage. <laughs> and another one, sorry. So yeah, I had my inspection this morning. It went a lot better than the last house. No turn my damage. A lot of really cool things that I found. This house, it actually has a dead something. body. That you found, like it has two treasure. bedrooms. Yes. <laughs> it has a space where you could put a dead body. Um, but Don't actually, in the basement, it has like this extra kind of like storage room. It's like a cold storage room. Um, oh, what? Really? So I'm thinking it'd be a cool spot to keep like the wine cellar Literally. or like brew some beers mm-hmm. and it'd be like the perfect place. Even in the summertime, it'll still be kind of cool. Maybe so, hide out in there like I did at the supermarket, my first job. Yeah. Cards and just going to hide in the freezer. Going to put my stepson in there. Yeah. <laughs> Freeze in there. There you go. <laughs> come back a thousand years later. Uh, yeah. So I, don't know I what did. What the hell's going on? I did that. I've been playing a buttload of Persona that uh, we can talk should. about more later, but I'm getting really back into it um probably like the past week i probably put like 20 hours into it nice um maybe That's not 20 maybe like 15 good work <laughs> yeah, it feels like 20 in that game about the same oh my game. god yeah it just goes wiley has it crossed over to reality for you yet do you walk over and you like bah, 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 bah. like opening doors and shit being like what the hell <laughs> i mean i do get the music stuck in my head all it's the time great time Trey. yeah just mm-hmm. sort of I'm not like I'm intentionally going to find sewers on my own to run around just in my head by a black trench coat with nothing underneath. Cleaning, cleaning my room the other day, I was just singing cave story songs over and over. That's as like, you should. That's great. It works for you. You live in a basement too, so you yeah, can be like beep up. We'll talk about it. Later. <laughs> You're excited, Wiley. Okay. What are you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> All right. So uh, this weekend, I got to go to uh, Queens, New York City, and see my girlfriend compete in the Cheesemonger Invitational. Cheese. It was a lot of fun. Sounds she awesome. She ended up coming in. Uh, there were 52 or so contestants. I forget the exact amount, but she came in 10th place. So that's pretty good. Real good. I think the. Shout uh, out. She hasn't gotten the official details yet, but I think that wins her. A trip to Wisconsin to get some some cheese <laughs> yeah. so that's pretty nice. awesome um, so the event you just got to go around to all these different cheese distributors try as many samples as you wanted uh, some of them were given out free free swag I got a t-shirt tote bag three go three got hats t- got a t-shirt made of cheese can I have, can I have I got one of the hats made of cheese you can maybe have one of the hats yes is Wisconsin like is that Swiss is that where Swiss cheese comes from is it Swiss no Wisconsin? that's Switzerland no. <laughs> yeah uh, you think yeah. by the name, it just goes really well. But. Yeah. Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> so, it yeah. should be a Wisconsin. Thing. <laughs> Welcome to Wisconsin. We're known for our Swiss cheese. That's how it goes. All right. That's so what I thought. clearly need a, a cheese, a cheese of education. I, I just Wait, don't like cheese. What was the? You're yeah. sick. Just, what was the, the contest? Like, what do you? What do you uh, the contest. So there was several different categories. She had to uh, make a perfect bite with the cheese she was assigned, which means she could. Oh, use, it's like chopped. She could use like any sort of, I guess so, uh, any ingredients she wanted. She just had to, you know, blend flavors well and make it in like a hundred different of these little bites that people could go around and judge. Um, 
there were other categories that we didn't see that were the couple of days beforehand where she had to like, you know, cut a piece of cheese and make it the perfect weight that they say it's going to be or um, make, uh, there was also written tests and written? shit like wow, that. Wow, that's official. Yeah. Um, that's uh, insane. The whole atmosphere, I was expecting it to be a lot like stuffier and more um, sort of cheesy. Man, everybody formal. likes cheese. <laughs> it was more, more formal than it was. It was very much a, you know, empty warehouse in Brooklyn, uh, very sort of uh, hipster. Hey, and you like cheese? Come on in. It's okay. Out- outgoing vibe to it. I, so cool. Yeah. yeah. Did uh Did you have to pay to get in, or was it? Was um, like free I did, or... uh, but there was a family uh, and friends discount. So I think for the public, it was seventy five. For me, Woof. uh Did they? She also got one plus one ticket. So like, I ended up paying twenty five bucks for my ticket. So That's not bad. A good deal. And I got to drink. They, uh, Six Point, I guess, sponsored it. The brewery from uh, NYC mm-hmm. and. Uh, so they just had unlimited cans of Jammer, uh, their Goza, um, Bengali, their IPA, and their lager. Oh, uh, nice. So, yeah, I think I had about yeah, five or six, somewhere around there, to try to get <laughs> my money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, it was really fun, and she did really well. So that was, was, there, um, money worth. was there, like, prize money for, like, the top the three top, or yeah, something like I that? Yeah, I think, I don't know about two and three, but I think the first place got a thousand bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Thousand ducks. So now she has something to they strive for next year, yes. or however Definitely. often. It is. All, all the people in like the top cheese. five, top six had Jeez. been doing it for years, uh, except for I think this one girl. It was her first, but so yeah, most people don't don't win on their first first go around. The ten cool. is real good for the first go around. Mm-hmm. That's like that's some anime shit. Yeah. <clears throat> out of how many people? How many people were there? Fifty uh, something. Nice. Yeah, I think a few might have dropped out, so it might have been forty something, but uh, high forties. <laughs> Um, congratulations, yeah. Elena, if you're yeah. watching. Yeah. Good job. Congrats. You did great. So now, even though I don't like cheese, uh, I love cheese. Our Twitch audience, if anybody's watching, I'm not looking at the numbers right now. Shout out to Cody Daigle uh, if he's looks watching. Looks like we got two people. Woo. Me. Um, one hey, of them. That's one of them. <laughs> one of them is you. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Cody Daigle. If you're watching, I love you. And I saw you message me, but I'm not gonna look at my phone. Anyway, Tyler. If anybody, well, nobody's watching. Why am I saying this? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one person watching. Yeah, if one you. person watching wants to ask a question, feel free. We might answer it. Probably. Um, and if you're watching this will. on YouTube, just disregard. Yeah, and if you're watching podcast, on YouTube, or listening to you it know, on the podcast, you, you, you can't do that. that or still comment. Work. We might come back. You can comment, and we'll answer it in next week episode. How about that? Okay. We'll do something, all right? Oh, yeah. make you feel special. Yeah. Exactly. We'll do it. <laughs> I don't think so. Lucy Matrim, oh, dwarf, nice. on a de- dwarf on a bender. All right, very good. Ah. So my girlfriend that I just talked about. Is, is oh, that's my sister. Hi, t- oh. Tyler's sister. <laughs> Are you in the house? There's a spooky ghost. Nice. <laughs> spooky creepy. And, right. the call, and the podcast was coming so, from inside the house. What's everybody been playing? I'm going to let you start, Brandon, because you seem like you want to get on this. Uh, oh, yeah. You want to tell us about Cave Story. You can't wait. Um, yeah, I mean, between all the car <laughs> stuff and... Getting lost in MLB The Show 17. Yeah, so I uh, played that. Yeah, a lot. I played it a I lot. I called you gay. Yeah, you did. That's... Sorry. But, um, Cave Story so far, I'm probably four hours into it, but the soundtrack for it alone, I'm just like, oh! I have no idea what type of game it is. It's it's a side-scroller... Like, side-scroller 8-bit I, shoot 'em yeah. up bullet hell. It's oh. like, you know those stages in Nier? Imagine mm-hmm. that, but smaller, pixelated, and a lot more, a lot more shit on the screen. Wow, yeah. that's totally not what the name implies to me. Mm-hmm. What did you think it was? I, well, there's this old, or it's not that old. There's an adventure game for the PS3, 360 called The Cave, um, which is like kind of just a silly uh, teenagers trying to solve a mystery adventure game. So that's no, what... it is not that. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's more of a crazy. more of a classic style gaming. Um, it's pretty hard so far so like contra sort of uh in a way yeah kind of yeah that yeah. adventure aspect but but you basically you get uh weapons and you get to level them up by killing bad guys and stealing their triangles but if you get hit you lose levels but yeah but you're your also triangles. the more damage your you take your level your weapons level will drop huh. so like so some rogue like yeah. aspects yeah so you you got to you gotta, you gotta be careful though. There's these red flowers. I'm telling you, you land on them. 127 damage. You're done. Oh, that's the spiked ones. Yeah. Is yeah. that a Switch exclusive? 
Um, it's been out for PC for oh, yeah, okay. yeah, like yeah. six years. But, oh, longer. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's my copy, you said? I you have it at my house. Right, right it also now comes at your house? with the soundtrack. I want it. Oh, you bought it too? Yeah. Well, no, uh, he said I, he got an extra copy. Yeah, what? I, <laughs> yeah. I, That's awesome. I messaged Amazon. I was like, you guys sent me an extra copy. And they're like, you tell them. Well, I don't well, because they charged me. I was like, oh, I, did, I didn't they? order it twice. And oh. they're like, oh, well, just keep it and whatever. We'll refund you. Or we'll We've give got you a few, we'll, few dollars in the bank. We'll give you a credit. <laughs> yeah. We just got Whole Foods, so we're doing pretty all right. Did they actually buy <laughs> They did. Yeah. Wow. Woof. But yeah, um, looking That's forward to cool. playing that more. Um, again, I got lost in MLB the show. Nice. Uh, That's baseball, right? Starting pitcher, you know, won the World Series in my third season. Not too bad. You must be simming all these games. Well, you're a pitcher. Oh, yeah. You only pitch every five games. Oh, well, so how many <laughs> games are you playing in a season? Five. What? Yeah. Damn, you really got lost in the show. Yeah. Well, every time, every time I wasn't <laughs> yeah, going to make got, the playoffs, yeah, like halfway lost. through the season, quit. I, I sim through it, and then I got... Drafted by the goddamn Yankees, <laughs> traded to the Brewers, which was even worse, and then traded back to the goddamn Yankees. <laughs> You're bouncing. And then I got right. traded to the Royals, and we won. And then the I got series. injured. So, uh, yeah, are you playing fine. in? A, if you're playing in an AL league, you're not doing any hitting. Correct. Hmm. Yeah, when I was dabbling with the Brewers, I was like. Pretty good. That hit, seems kind of boring hit. to me, man. Because I love, the offense is so much more fun to me. I to mean, you. Because yeah. you weren't a pitcher. <laughs> Being a pitcher is fun to me. This is like the main reason I watch baseball still. Huh. I like I like the attributes. Yeah, sports or something. But sports I don't are understand something. them at all. But yeah, I'm also only a little bit into Shovel Knight. Um, I just got past the village. <laughs> You're going to go back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, You're playing it on the Switch, right? Swap yeah. through. Nice, so you got all the... Oh, wait, no, I'm playing it on PS4. Because it uh, came with my PS4. Did you get all the extra DLCs? It comes with them. Does so it? you can just download it them. Does oh, right. Yeah, yeah they're, really? they're all oh. free. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. It is. They're super good. Oh, that's probably what it was installing well, then was. for so long when I first put it in. But I'm also looking forward to start Bloodborne. That is a great game so far. Good segue. Yeah. I'm enjoying Anthony, it. you've been playing some Bloodborne. Oh, yeah, I've been playing. Oh, that was sick when I dog sat because she already had a PS4, but I was like, I want my save data. My boss had one, so I went, brought my PS4 and hooked theirs, put mine in. It was just it was a nice Saturday morning, probably one of the best Saturday mornings I've had in a while. I got my coffee, sitting there with three dogs, beat up, getting really mad at Bloodborne. It wasn't too bad, though. I died, uh, I think it was like four or five times to, was the, guy, the bad guy from Father Notre Gascoigne. Dame. Yeah, he was the villain in Notre Dame, Hunchback in Notre Dame, right? I'm talking about the, the hunter guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have a hunchback? Oh no, I don't know. I was just that's just what <laughs> oh, I equated There's in definitely my head. some hunchback yeah. enemies. Yeah, it was just, uh, it was cool though. It was really nice, but I was really upset I missed that secret you're telling me about with the music box. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little like, Easter egg. I didn't know about it. Where is it? It's uh, right in the beginning or with the music box? Where? Yeah, so like you just talk to all these NPCs. Some of them are behind doors, and it won't even pretty much through windows. You kind of yeah, get like guess. Like, you'll just guess. Like if, if, you, if you see light. a candle in the window, yeah, yeah, there's usually a person inside, and if you talk to one of them. It's a girl that says something like, I haven't found my father. If you do find him, will you give him this music box for me? Daddy's Thank going you. out for the hunt. Yeah, he's, he's going, going out for the hunt. Yeah, so like, you end up realizing uh, after you read the item description. Uh, spoilers. Yeah, I mean, spoilers for Bloodborne, <laughs> minor spoilers for Bloodborne. <laughs> Second boss. That uh, Father Gascoigne is uh, her father, and he's gone mad trying to, you know, Slay the beasts. You show up and, and you're sitting there like chopping the head off something. If you, you use this music it. box that the girl wants you to give him during the fight, he gets stammered and it, or he he gets stunned and he's like, he's good. just kind of overwhelmed with emotion. And if you use it, so it's really helpful if you use it twice. If you use it three times, you get greedy with it. Um, he'll transform into his beast form prematurely, so it makes the fight harder. So he's got three. Just a cool like. The FromSoft games are just filled with uh, small little things. Small little things like that that you know you're gonna miss ninety percent of the time. That's why. That's why I feel like Don't these tell games. Don't me that. It's really so long to play. It. You should play through them <laughs> once, trying to not use a guide mm-hmm. or use it as little as possible. But for the second and third time, just just use one and just like yeah. learn about all the secrets and things they put in there, and you know learn about the community and 
all, all the things that the towns the speed, the speed yeah. running the exploits i just think that yeah. there's so much cool stuff to focus more on getting used to the gameplay of it yeah so it's just like watching anthony or my friend cam playing it i get the controls down you got got to dodge those bad guys yeah that's way cool i like that a lot more than the dark souls like blocking it's i like definitely having a lot more fun kind of like zooping around guys rather than sitting there being like oh can i take this or not and they're just getting plowed over yeah but it's got a good sense. Um, so of we had a good time the other night. We used the PS4 share play yeah, feature. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So I just I remember that you could watch other people play, but I had forgotten that you can actually take control remotely of mm-hmm. their game. So I was attempted to beat the first boss for you. I'm blaming this shit on lag as why I couldn't do it. <laughs> My internet is shit. It was oh, like yeah. 12 so frames per second. I was literally playing it like yeah, like 12, 15 frames per second trying to fight. You did good for that yeah, yeah, got him about halfway down. Um, but it was just cool, kind of coaching you through it, being like, oh, no, look behind there. There's another item, and so on. Like, here's a combo, and I was like, oh, I didn't even know they could oh, do yeah. that. Pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't know they could, you could do, like, the viscerals for so long. <laughs> and yeah. then you, you became, like, addicted to them, because whenever <laughs> yeah. you would play it, you would, like, try to visceral every single person. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, awesome. I would only use it sparingly, uh, especially against some humanoid bosses. That's where they're really... If you go to backstab like in Dark Souls, does it do a visceral attack, mm-hmm. or do you have to stun them? With the oh, you mean first? in Bloodborne? Yeah, Bloodborne. No, it yep. doesn't. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, they took out backstabs. They took out back backstabs in Bloodborne. I uh, mean, you can do backstabs, but you really have to time them perfectly. I just am imagining them as how they were in Dark Souls Two, where all you had to do was get behind the enemies, and yeah. it was really easy. That's all I did in one. I cheesed every enemy. Like yeah, that. it was <laughs> somewhat. It, it was way easier in two. It was like to the point where. I thought that I thought it was pretty easy in Bloodborne, but I mean, as long as they didn't notice you, you were addicted. You just like I want this all the time. I guess if they well, if they don't notice you, sure. But I just felt like most of the time enemies do notice you uh, before you fight them. Um, oh, we got four people watching! Woo! Wow, thank you. Nice. Yeah, we got Lone Fem Sing- so- Lone Fem Singeli. Neil first boss room is nice and cramped. Yeah, it is. I know oh, yeah. why they helped me is. on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, people think that boss was really tough. Um, it was really and tough. And it was pretty tough. I beat it on my first try, though, and it was only because of my experience with Souls and Bloodborne. Like, <laughs> I don't even think I got to the first boss. Is it after the little gate you go through? After the house of dudes? You yeah, it is after the boat. boat. Oh, yeah, boat. I didn't even get to the boat. <laughs> I was just like... Well, you borrowed it, so that's your excuse. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and then yeah. I deleted it, so now i got to do it all <laughs> over again. <laughs> um... Well, your save data will actually still be there. Oh, cool. Yeah. hope so. If you install it again. I think. Okay, cool. Well, that's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Now we've also got yeah, Solar 2323. What's going on, Solar? Hey there. How you doing? Uh, hey. Anything else uh, you've been playing? Ma- mainly just Bloodborne? Mainly Bloodborne. I did, uh, I've been, you know, I haven't had a chance to do Nier again. I really want to continue with Nier Automata because that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. I love digging the, I love how you can cheese everybody too. But I also love the expression cheesing. So thank you for <laughs> igniting that within me because now I do that for everything. I was sitting there at the <laughs> house by myself with a bunch of dogs. Like smiling? Yeah, like when you just like exploit an enemy that you can just Uh-oh. like hide behind something, they'll like clip into it and just sit there and like. <laughs> Do that, and you're like, oh, this is fucking great. That's what I did with uh, Gas Coin. He got behind, uh, I trapped him when he was, I think his first, yeah, his first form. And he was just, like, stuck and, like, clipping through one of the graves. And I was like, oh, well. Here we go. Here we go. I know a cheap way to be him, but I never got him, like, clipping into an environment or anything. I got real lucky. That's also the fifth, yeah, the fifth time I fought him. I was like, this is it, motherfucker, you're dying. And I was just getting really mad. Five times is dogs. good for a Bloodborne boss, really. I was pretty, I was pretty proud. Yeah. I was like, yeah, my experience in the games I haven't beaten yet, so. Um, yeah, just that near. Um, like you can cheese with the the shooting. Hey, you just hold R one, just brrr, have your little pod, just blow everything. Yeah, but I wouldn't call that a cheese because it, it's like it's part of the game. It, yeah, it's part of the game, and it does very little damage, especially farther on you get. But yeah. mm-hmm. um, oh, I did also um, picked up because I was thought I'd be when I was dog sitting. I was like, I don't know if I bring my PS four, but I picked up Ever Oasis for the 3DS, which is really neat. It's really adorable. Um, along with World of Final Fantasy for the Vita, because I was on sale. Okay. And I was like, ooh, cool. it's nice. But Ever Oasis is like a, think of it like Animal Crossing, if you're playing any of the Animal Crossings, like oh, New yeah. Leaf or anything like that, mixed with like an action RPG. Almost like the Rune Factory series that they did a little while ago, which is like a Fantasy Harvest Moon RPG. But you have this Oasis you build up, so you're the chief, um, and you have these guys, everybody comes visit the Oasis. Um, they'll stop by randomly, they have to fill like certain conditions, or sometimes they'll randomly come by. I'm not too far into it yet. But anyone that you come to visit, you can set up shop. And when they set up shop, they help your townsfolk because they have these little, like, cute little penguin bird things that just, like, are passive. And they just walk by and you can say hi to them. But just, they won't say anything. But they go and they buy your shit for you. And they 
re like bring in your town's revenue and then you can upgrade from there and build shops and more stuff for people but all the villagers you get and recruit you can bring out to the world with you and that's when it turns into like an action rpg and it's cool because you don't start off with anything at level one you have like this really shitty like one button combo and a heavy attack like light attack heavy attack and i thought that was gonna be the whole thing and i was really upset but turns out i couldn't see like when i was out fighting the first time i wasn't getting experience or anything i was like well uh oh but you return to town and you get experience you level up there and then you get like new combos as you level up which was nice and redeeming is this so, a recent game yep it just launched friday oh cool yeah saw some it was kind of like an impulse buy i nice. saw it and i was like and it's like a e-shop or like a full full, game? full-fledged yep. yeah yeah, they just. Where did uh, you get it on the Vita? The 3DS. 3DS. And the Vita was uh, World of Final Fantasy, which is basically that, just yeah. Final Fantasy with Pokemon. That's been out for a little while, but yeah, I've been wondering about what huh. that what that is. So you still let us know ne- next week. Yeah, I will. I'll, I got to play more. I've only I think maybe an hour into it. It's all cutscenes. As classic Final Fantasy, the whole first part's just like I've made, played maybe fifteen minutes of game, and <laughs> just I'd say the hour I'm in is all cutscenes so far. So fifteen <laughs> minutes of gameplay, hour cutscenes, and when you can speed up the battles by holding R. Forget about it. It's like a game of watching. It's not a game. Is nope. that, when you speed up the battles, because uh, I'm gonna move into Persona, which is mm-hmm. what Tyler and I have been playing. Uh, is it only? Is it uh, the attacks that it's selecting? Is it just the standard physical attack? Oh no, you choose. So you you don't auto battle, which is nice. I think oh, it's not auto battle. Yeah, okay. so you can like because they have the timeline kind of like the ATB system from like Final Fantasy VII or older mm-hmm. Final Fantasies, and you can choose to have it be weight or active. So if the timeline's on the front. You just kind of like your little bars move up. You hit the thing. You make your action. Enemy goes. Or you can have it like wait or keep going. So once you hit the bar, you can have everything stop. Or once you hit the bar, you can have your enemy just keep going. So it kind of forces you to be a little bit more into the game, which is nice. Um, yeah. But it's still pretty cool. Don't want that emulator shit. No. So what's, <laughs> what's nice about Persona and one of the smartest ways that it's able to keep the JRPG feeling you know, vibrant and like a modern game is that once you are in a battle that you know is just going to be you hitting X and hitting attack and you know, killing an enemy like you're done strategically planning you only got one or two scrub enemies left instead of going through the motions and hitting x watching the attack motion you just hit rush which is the options button and it'll automatically speed it up to like times four or times five speed and it'll just do the attack i, I haven't tried that mm-hmm. like oh, in right. my, two dungeons in and i never did the rush because i was afraid like i'm like oh what if like, I, don't, I didn't want to mess anything up because i was just so invested with the, every move in combat which um, i love when a game can bring me in that far there has been a couple times where I've had to pause the rush because I'm like, oh, wow, uh, the enemy did something I didn't expect or my yeah, attack wasn't quite as effective as I yeah, was Yeah, I definitely haven't used it very fr- frequently. I've only used it when I've like gone back into mementos and like had to fight like lower-level enemies. But mm-hmm. um, So, yeah, that's mainly the only game I've been playing this week. Uh, I did get back a little bit into Thumper trying to S-rank. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> that's a trip. Game. Uh-uh. Uh, and I did S rank the first and second level. <laughs> Three, I haven't even started to attempt. But I saw that on the uh, Switch eShop, and it made me lol. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you should totally. What scared me? Like, oh, Twenty God. bucks though. Twenty bucks. It's Twenty bucks. Totally what? Worth it. So is every other game you buy. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> physical copies. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm mm-hmm. getting along uh, within the story now. I. Completed the first dungeon. I was somewhere. I was actually. I think last week. I hadn't even really started it. Now that I'm thinking. Yeah, about you it. hadn't started the dungeon and last week. Now you were I'm like in the middle I, of the second one. How much did you do with the first time? Okay, like how was your run through? Yeah, so it you was were fine. you were cramping time. Yeah, so I didn't quite understand that I should have been pace, pacing myself a little better with the completing of the dungeons with how the time passes in the game. Uh, I thought that I could save it up for the final two or three days, and then that that would be fine. And uh, so I think I had six days until. My expulsion last week, and they were like, "No, you got to get in there because the da- the dungeons take several days." You're gonna get fired. I think I, I think it took me three days, and I think I had um, three days to spare. Uh, That's good. Yeah. So yeah, I was Ooh. fine. Um, and I really liked how well. First of all, how Kamashida's final form was. I like, love that. Yeah, it's so cool. It was just him. It was just like the most. Decadent, or that's the wrong word. Most just uh, <laughs> like over the top. Yeah, what's the word? Gluttonous. The yeah, most, like, there gluttonous you, go. you see yourself. I love that. It was <laughs> yeah. so sick. Um, he had. Do you, do you notice his little? Uh, he had on like in his wine glass, yeah. just bobbing up and down, just like T pose, just like. Burr, burr. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, that was that was good. And then, um, well, when you guys fought him, who did you have go steal his crown? I tried on at first. Uh, yeah, I did Morgana. 
I had the wrong person do it at mm-hmm. first. Oh, really? <laughs> See, I didn't know there was, was the wrong person because oh, I just didn't know. Yeah. wrong? No, just oh. first time. Shit, yeah, I should have known better, though, because I sent her out, and it's like, you. I waited four turns, and then he looks over, because she's, like, almost there, yeah. and he looks over and goes, I see you! Yeah, of course, like, he's constantly, like, sometimes his move is just, he's watching on. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just like, that doesn't mean, I was like, whatever. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. I sent on to go at it, but I should have realized that he's going to yeah, be Morgana's staring at on. Yeah. I thought she'd want revenge, though. She just... I, but I actually had Ryuji go and do it, and that Same. worked, too. Oh, really? Okay. So everybody but on. It was cool to see his text be like, I'm finally getting you back, you big nerd. Bam! And, <laughs> yeah. and you fight him, and it's great. Yeah, his calling card was pretty good. His... I love it. I can relate with Ryuji so much. And, uh... Him. Spoilers for the first boss of Persona. Just I, I don't want to completely or the first dungeon after you complete it. The way that Kamoshida comes into that assembly and just completely bares yeah. his soul and is just it's like great. admitting everything wrong he's ever done in such a like open fashion, leaving nothing out and like. And I even pressured this one girl to you know. Sit, do sexual advances on me in order for her friend to stay on the team. I was just like, whoa, like hand not stuff? leaving out yeah. anything. No. He does it in the most Chris Hansen way of just like, what are you doing here? And he comes, he's like, I made sexual advantages. <laughs> I did not have sex with that woman. Yeah, Except he knows. Really super nice satisfying. Thing. And uh, it's president. interesting how they even president. managed to have some sympathy for him afterwards. They're just like, no, did we really do the right thing? We really fucked up his life forever. <laughs> yeah, no, he was a little dick. Fuck yeah, him. he totally deserved it. Yeah. yeah, I like that point, though, too, before that, not more spoilers, where you're like, man, should we even really do this once they finally have their powers? And they're just like, then he comes up and is like, fuck you, kids. And they're just like, okay, yeah. we're going we're gonna to do it to him. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. Dudley! Um, Dudley. And uh, now the game's getting a bit more difficult now in the middle of the second dungeon. Mm. Last night, I... Uh, I had a few glasses of wine. I uh, I was making good progress, but eventually I just died to the same thing three times in a row. And what I got, did you die to? Uh, just this normal enemy that was, you know how if you hold L1, you can see if they're a higher level than you yeah. or the equal level. Uh, he was higher, um, but I felt like I needed to beat him to clear the room. And he just had this one really cheap move where... I, uh, one of my guys was weak to it, so he got to do it oh, two times I hate in a row. That. They cheesed you. Yeah, exactly. They cheesed me. And... Um, so yeah, anyway, that, that was frustrating. Uh, I ended up getting in an angry mood, and when I get angry, <laughs> you were I, I get texting us. What the fuck, this guy's a <laughs> cheater. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. The stupid, uh, like the, it's like the chimera thing, where it's like the big, plump, like white body with tiger arms and the yeah, tail. I hate exactly. I have one of those yeah. now, because yeah. it just pissed me off so much. I should try and catch they're one, but great. I think they're like a couple levels higher than me. You can make them really soon, just to synthesize. Yeah. Have you gotten the social link with the two girls yet? The two... Uh, Prison twins. Uh, the I twins? think I just got them. Yeah, and you can strength person. Yep, strength. I have no really idea yeah. what this game even. Is. It's well, wicked. Get it's it. I'm trying to like it. picture it in my head, and I'm just Tony the Tiger. This That's how I used Tony to Tiger. feel too. That's how I used to feel when people would talk about Persona. Yeah. Until I Crunch. finally just actually played it, and now I now I get it. Mingo bingo. Stinko. I don't know. And I also uh, you also don't like anime, so it'd be really yeah, hard to if you don't like anime, it's very hard. I'm not to... a big anime guy either at all, hmm. but I still. You know, I'm so able like to it. enjoy it. Yeah, I do. That's um, good. It doesn't give off the classic. Like, there's certain times, like, with Morgana being like, oh, lady, ah, and like, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, classic, like, anime swoon. But other than that, like, it really comes off as not, like, a big anime, which is it's cool. Really it's really like well, a, well, I mean, like, there are some issues with the translation, but I think as a whole, it's such a giant undertaking that translating this game was that it's actually quite good. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so much dialogue, and it's so much of it is, like, you know, millennial speak uh, in, in terms of what... There's like text messages that feel pretty organic and like they don't feel phoned in. Like, yeah. hey, dude, lol, are you ready for l eight or? Yeah, like they he likes you know, it, it says <laughs> stuff like uh, you know I I felt pretty lousy about it. Tbh, like to be honest, like in, in, I didn't know what that meant for the longest yeah. time. And I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> but, like I wonder that. how they you know translated that from whatever because it's not tbh in Japanese probably, uh, like and just hair. things like that. So I think that it's quite impressive overall. There's no beer in the fridge. <laughs> What? Someone, someone says there's no beer in the fridge. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Elena. Uh, there's no beer in the Whoops. fridge. My bad. Uh, it's that yeah, bottle definitely. of wine if you want to open it, but that's all. Yeah, it sounds like you're pretty well into it. I had some pretty fun adventures in Persona as well. I beat the fourth palace and got a new party member. What? <clears throat> 
I'm so yeah. fucking far behind. What? <laughs> and <Jealous. laughs> yeah, I got a new party member who was a hacker. Um, oh yeah, this is the really adorable one. But you, were, yeah. you told me she's a lot younger, and I was like, oh, it's great. Well, she's not like a lot younger, like three years, two years maybe. As that's that's child's play, it's baby talk. <laughs> um, and I also I went to the beach with all my friends. Um, I, when you texted me that that you went to the beach, I was like, "Oh, nice!" And you didn't even miss the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like, I went to Hawaii and then back to Japan, and I was like, "Oh, yeah." Can you persona. understand my confusion in this game? You're just like you're battling things in mm-hmm. one second, and then you're flying to Hawaii. Yep. With your well, yeah, friends? it's a life yeah. sim, and it's a life sim slash uh, dungeon crawling Japanese RPG. Yeah. It's a so so, crazy thing. You never think it would work out, but they. I made a bunch really of like, well. really tight connections with a bunch of my friends. Um, I got through summer vacation. <laughs> it was actually really fun. Oh, wow, you're done with... Oh, holy shit, yeah, I didn't I even realize that, that I have a summer vacation coming oh, yeah. up. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> We're in it now, dude. <laughs> I don't even yeah, so I played through summer vacation. No, <laughs> it was super funny because... You get back from summer vacation, and then a week later, you go to Hawaii for a week. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, for a school trip. That's how it goes. Wow. 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 Japanese kids are lucky. It's, it's cool how just you know, the game doesn't seem like it peters out at all with the storytelling. You know, it just yeah. keeps, keeps, <laughs> keeps introducing new It's also, like, things. what's interesting to me, too, is that the characters themselves look very Americanized, but they're supposed to be all Japanese. What's well, anime, man? <laughs> yeah, like, I know. Yeah. yeah. Or they, but, I mean, I don't know. Did you catch I mean, that little thing where Ryuji Seira was originally black and he dyed it blonde to be different because he's a rebel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was yep. like, oh, that's interesting. I thought Cam's hair was like I think I, that's I, He always seemed like an, you know, an Eminem blonde yeah, to me. Okay. Like, not, not real. <laughs> exactly. I saw an article today where it's like, Eminem's most striking haircut since 1999. I was like, is this really relevant? I was like, what? Are we really? Are we, <laughs> he's we had more than this? one? It's like either yeah, brown or blonde. Yeah, I'm like, what did he do? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much just Brandon's hair. I'm sorry. Yeah. FCC won't let me be. <laughs> me be me. So let, let me see. see. I shut me down. Podcast on TV. And the, it's my right. Pete. Harry's Hot Dog Hut due to open in June of the 30th, they say. Be first to what, get a. What, what do we all think about that? I like, I like <laughs> right. Brandon's a little upset that we hijacked it and. Talking all of you about Persona now, and he's talking about hot dogs. Still <laughs> well, he wants to. Well, you so got uh, Bloodborne. Why don't you hop on that? I'm gonna. Okay. Next week, I'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I played. Yeah. Pretty much just mostly all Persona. Yeah, well, Not I did much else. I did, uh, I don't know if I finished my thought earlier, but when I was angry and I was texting you guys, I also decided I need to have another game that I'm playing. So I bought Next Machina, uh, which is the new game from Housemark. Yes. Um, What's that? Housemark uh, developed uh, Resogun, which is a launch PS4 game. It actually it was originally a PS Plus free game and it's phenomenal. It's one of the, honestly still in my top 10 PS4 games and it's uh, it's like a, a rail shooter except for, oh no, it's not a rail shooter. It's a shooter except for you're on a sort of a 3D plane so you can go around like this uh i'm doing a circular motion if you're listening um (laughs) and you shoot enemies uh there's lots of incredible particle particle effects there's tons of stuff happening on screen almost at all times Uh, everything feels super responsive it just plays like a dream Uh, it's very fun to chase high scores they supported it really well added more modes uh for many months even like up to a year after it came out um so just Really, a great game. Even I th- even if it's fifteen now, like yeah. full price, totally worth it. I was watching the somebody do a a quick play of it, and um, this is of of uh, next Yeah. Okay. And uh, I thought it was really cool. The kind of like arcadey uh, conclusions to the each level with the the leaderboards and the, the things like that with, with the high scores that are that are included. I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. So um. When you, when you say rail shooter, did that means that it's just like you're constantly firing, right? And you just point in the direction you want to fire. No, nah, like the rail the rail shooter means like because uh, I wasn't sure. Well, like, it, it means pretty much that you are not in control of which direction your, your ship is going, or uh, be, like Galaga or something, like where I you're just constantly going Galaga. up. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in Resident Evil, you can actually turn Galaga left or right, time. so that's why it's like every time a rail shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because <clears throat> because like, the the gameplay that I was watching, it seemed like they just never stopped shooting. So I wasn't sure if that was a, like, 
You have to press a button to shoot? Yeah, oh, well, you, well, you have to press a, it's a twin stick shooter, so it's very easy oh, to okay. shoot. Oh, okay, so yeah. you use it. Okay. use the right oh, yeah. stick I've to shoot. I've played one of those. Yeah. Um, Nears like that at certain points. Yep. That was and, pretty cool. And actually, Resogun is also, yeah. Um, so definitely check Resogun out if you haven't, but I'll let you guys know how next Machina is next week. Yeah. Um, maybe you should all buy it, and then we can all actually have played the same game. <laughs> That'll happen one day. Yeah. There'll be a surprise. I'll be like, oh, you, oh, I did two. Speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of playing the same game, Steam Summer Sales here. Okay, yeah, so we're now moving oh, into yeah, Cruising right. for News, and uh, we're past our what we've been playing catch up of the week so pew, 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 each week we take thing. a few news stories Remix. that uh, we found most interesting and relevant to our tastes uh, this week Anthony compiled the list thank you very much for doing so you're welcome um, you're very welcome so Steam Summer Sale why should we care uh, obviously uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, uh, were there any games in particular that you felt like you needed to buy ah uh, what did I buy I bought uh, that Sonic like the one that, the Freedom Planet if you've seen anything like that, it looks like it's a Sonic like two clone, playing like a little purple cat thing, and you know no. it's basically like Sonic. It's like basically a, Captain Sonic Planet. Captain, Captain Sonic, Sonic Planet. Purple Planet. Captain Sonic Purple Planet. O OC Creator. Mm, it's fine. No, it's like uh, it's kind of like, it looks like Sonic too. It's got gameplay like that. It's just really fast speed. Um, you you twirl instead of like homing attack. But I haven't played it yet. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. In the trailer, it just looks exactly like Sonic. So. Like Sonic. Let me some good Sonic 2, Sonic 3. Let me but. see if I can uh, keep talking for a minute. I'll, I'll bring up the, the best of the best of this Steam Summer Sale. Oh, yeah. The Steam but, uh, Summer There's a couple, Sale. mainly, I hate the Steam Summer Sale because over the year, I love it, but I hate it because, one, so much money I want to spend on games I'm never going to play. Uh, and two, it's like, oh, some of the really good ones that I wanted to get are already, have already been on sale this year, and like I've gotten them because I'm like, oh, it's a good price. And it's either yeah, it's true. they're they're either a higher price on the sale or a summer sale, and I'm happy I got them, or they're lower price, and I'm mad I already have them. That could save more money. But you gotta yeah. check that out too. Because you get you No, I up. don't. I just <laughs> got a car. I need to not buy video games anymore. <laughs> uh, like he said, as he says that. That, like, not at this rapid fine. pace. <laughs> so how long do the Steam summer sales go? I don't know, that's a good question. Like, like a week? So it's a week, uh, yeah. Okay, a week. Um I a week from when because it seems like they're the way it works is they Put new have stuff new games on every day. Every day, yeah. Oh shit. That's awesome. They'll have like a Bethesda day. Oh yeah, yep. We'll have like a Spider Man Two exclusive day. Pizza so, shop restaurant. Oh, super hot! That's uh, that's on sale. That's super coming to PS Four. That's also a little news tidbit Ooh, we can throw in. I don't think there's an official date yet, but they did say in the next several weeks. So coming up soon. That's so. the gun one where it's like. Yeah. Yeah, it's very stylized. <laughs> like sort of. I would love to play that in VR. I know. <laughs> I've still yet to play anything in VR. I need to get. I need to. Yeah. Have a friend with VR. <laughs> yeah. <that's> not, <laughs> no, that's so want to be my friend. Maybe I'll get it for my birthday coming up in a month. Maybe I, I don't need a laptop after all. Suggest. Just need VR. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna live in there. Um, Pull me out. So let's see. Ori in the Blind Forest, Salt and Sanctuary, Dying Light. Yeah, lots of good stuff mm. out there for sure. Uh, so Steam Summer Sale, check it out. Have to double check. Yeah. Uh, the biggest news of the week, I would say, at least from uh, where Steam. I'm sitting, is the announcement of the Super NES Classic Edition. No, oh, never yeah. gonna own. All right. So who's who's psyched for this and why? I would be if I'm I could psyched. buy it. <laughs> we'll buy it. My favorite we gotta, console ever. We we're camping know. out. We're gonna vlog from yeah. the front of GameStop, Walmart, wherever yeah. we end up going. Wherever. Best Buy. Have everybody positioned at different <laughs> stores. <Sleep in> there. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get a four-person tent. Tempur-Pedic beds. We're going all out. We're just gonna live there for a yep. week. Be okay with that. So this is going to launch with twenty-one games, as opposed to or uh, the NES Classic, which came out last year, sold. I don't know, a couple million or so, and then Nintendo decided to uh, give us all a middle finger and cancel it before we, we could buy it. Mm -hmm. This isn't as good as the SNES. Um, and no, I mean, well, historically speaking, you might find people that would argue there, but they're wrong. The though. games on the Super NES have certainly <laughs> aged better and are like more playable now and are longer and. Just half my library's gone. I'm way now. more excited for this uh, than I would be uh, for the for the NES. So this one's going to be seventy nine ninety nine. Launched with twenty nine or twenty one games, Buff. Um, and I'm with two controllers. Ooh. Yep. Are they wired or wireless? Wired. Do you know okay, if it has God. all the Donkey Kongs or is it just just Donkey one? Just one. Oh wow. Just one. Oh what? Not even two? Oh nope. man. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the list of games. Can you play Super Nintendo games fire. in it? No. No. It's oh, literally like this. Big. But why do I want to? I don't know. Why do I? Why well, if then? you have an, a Super Nintendo with all the games that you do, maybe it's not for you. I mean. Yeah. Damn it! I do. 
Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll read the list it. and then and then. Uh, when does this come out? September. Worst case, case, buy it and then just resell it for a million dollars like a month later. Yeah, that's all right. So Contra Three: The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Ooh. Final uh, Fantasy Three, mm. oftentimes uh, regarded as the best of the series. Yeah, six. Yep. Um, oh shit. F Zero. Okay, maybe I do want this. Kirby Superstar. Oh, great. Uh, I never played that. Um, a lot of fun. Wow, Kirby's Dream Course, which apparently is a Kirby-themed mini golf game. Nice. <laughs> That's kind of the oddball on the list. Uh, the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Sweet. Pretty good. Yeah, great. I've heard, I've heard it's all right. It's a game. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty all right. Classic top-down Zelda. Uh, Mega Man X, which is the first so of the Mega Man games in the Love X it. series. Burr, 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 burr. Secret of Mana. Ooh, um, good one. That's yeah, cool. I think that's, that's co-op too. That's very cool. That's like an eighty dollar uh, game. Yeah, I've never played it, and I actually just watched a, a couple video reviews of it because I was like trying to learn more about. They're doing about that Japan the JRPGs exclusive of that era. So, uh, Star Fox, and now for the true star of the show, according to Forbes.com, Forbes, <laughs> Star Fox Two, which was never released on any system before having been bizarrely canceled by Nintendo after the game was completed. Finally, after all these long years, we'll be able to die frustratingly death, frustrating death after frustrating death in the sequel. Many thought this oh, day would never come. So well, that's neat. Yeah, I think that's I don't know. Awesome. I don't think you guys are going to be able to unlock it, though. Unlock what? Unlock the Super well, nice You have to complete Star? the first level of Star, <laughs> of Star Fox. In oh, the... really, to unlock it? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty but hard. I got this. It's pretty hard. I've played that game. <laughs> I've played it. Um... Oops. Me so, what, I mean, what do we think about that? We can pause for... Well, let me get through the list, and then we'll get back to Star Fox 2. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, mm, Hyper good. Fighting. Ooh, good one. Um, Super Castlevania 4. Good. Super, Super Ghosts Green, and though. Ghouls. Yes. Yeah, hard is, that game I, I've is never played so it, but I heard, I've heard it's one of the hardest games. Yeah. Featuring one of my mains in MVC, Arthur. I love him. Uh, oh, yeah, Super Mario right. Kart, mm -hmm. uh, the first yeah. of the Mario Kart games. Uh, Super Mario RPG, oh, yes. Yes. Legend of the Seven Stars. We went hard oh, in that goodness. game. <laughs> Super Mario World. Nothing. That's it's a good game. <laughs> Obviously, it's, it's going to be it's, on there. But, uh, but, but, uh, I've all right. honestly beat that game so many times. I'm not fit for it. Mario blows up buildings. I just realized that it's like he's just like sitting there, pop like <laughs> he's blowing up buildings. Yeah, dude, it's full of bad guys. Yeah, he's got a wreck it. Uh, <laughs> Super <laughs> Super Metroid. Yeah. Super Metroid. Is he in blackface? For Great one? game. Super Punch Out. That's nice. a hard game. Yeah, that's um, hard. And last but not least, Yoshi's Island. Great yeah. game. Yeah. Fantastic game. So, really so incredible list of games. Yoshi's Island. No, I want to play oh it. Oh, it's absurd. God, it's yeah. so good. You play it. I have it if you want to play it. Let's play it. I also have it. Let's also play it. So, very impressed by the list. Uh, that is actually. That did you, change you happy my mind. with the amount? 21 games? Yeah, all games yeah. I actually want to play. Like, I'd yeah, like maybe for... five or six of them. Like, with the NES at least, I'd be like, ah, I don't want to play like half of these. But right. what's it going to be? Like 70 bucks? 80. 80. 80. It's, yeah. a, it's a great deal. I guess compounded yeah. value from all those games if you were to buy physical copies. Especially if it's the value is going to it's increase so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Might want to buy two if you can. Definitely. Uh, keep one in the closet. Knowing yeah. Nintendo will be like, one per customer. So, Probably. back to Star Fox 2. Brand new. Uh, well, okay. never released game. Who knows why it was never released? I don't know. I'm sure there's some story that's been. I think it was because they reached the end of like the life cycle already with the first Star Fox, and they had what? It's uh, what's the chip inside the game that made it like super, super crazy rad? I, I don't know, but I know it had some sort of. Yeah, it's like you pick two. No, that's like some sort of uh -huh. N64 style expansion pack. Yeah, it was like inside the cartridges or right. something like that. Super Bit 62, something like that. But I think it was like the end of the life cycle when Star Fox came out already. And they were already pushing. I think marketing was pushing for the N64 at that point mm -hmm. already. And they're like, well, I mean, we'll just, we'll just yeah, we'll keep it. So I'm sure they're they like, probably got a lot of 2D games are that. dead. Yeah, exactly. They're like, the market trend is not moving that way. We're going to have to. Super Mario 64. I perfect. How much of it got, <laughs> you know, reused for Star Fox 64? If they like, if there's some half recycled levels or anything like that. It's all just beta test levels the whole game. Yes. Half finished, you're going to clip through the walls. <laughs> it's all just anyway, test levels. Who knows, maybe the game is really good and it, we'll see it on top 10 lists at the end of the year. That would be really cool. <laughs> that would really be cool. insane. Yeah. Uh, it was like, no big deal. Yeah, I made this so long ago. It was just like... Psh some dust off of it no big deal I, like, do you even count that in the discussion for games of the year i, can, I don't know yeah I, it'd be yeah. really cool if they like in game of the year since they were like i saw this and if it does do really well they go back and they're like well maybe and we really super nintendo like but make new games is, but super nintendo yeah style but the thing is it's gonna be so limited 
not everyone's going to be able to play. Okay. <laughs> Nintendo yeah. has said that they are trying to make it so that there's more of these available. Yeah, they apologized for the Switch. We sorry. Right, they did yeah. acknowledge the fact that you know we're they not getting not these out as many as as we'd like to. Um, but of course, it was even worse for the NES Classic in terms of people wanting it and not being able to Nintendo get it. Nintendo also surpassed Sony market and value. Market value, yes. I heard that. Yeah. Crazy malus. Crazy malus, brother. Crazy malware. All right. Uh, so moving on. For uh, cruising for newsin, I heard earlier today just some discussions. I don't have many of the details. I would like to bring up an article right now. Uh, but our uh, our boys over in France, um, oh, meaning Ubisoft, oh, yeah. are uh, struggling to remain independent and not be bought out by giant media conglomerate conglomerate Vivendi. Um, Vivendi I, Universal. Vivendi, uh, whatever. Are they Universal? Probably. I think I'm not sure. That's just. Uh, weird. Vivendi is a massive company. If you don't know, they own like I don't know all types of TV channels and uh, movie production companies and uh, music labels, and they're just all over the place. Big biz, uh, yeah. but it's local, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they are the opposite of local. They're a giant global company, um, and they uh, want a, a big piece of that Ubisoft. And give me that gold. The uh, founders of Ubisoft are against this move they think it's going to limit their ability to do the creative things that they like to do uh and just sort of change their overall vision for the company and i think that would really suck if it were to happen uh, i know yeah. they're trying to take steps to make make sure that or uh to prevent it from happening or at least postpone it from happening but anyway let's just let's hope that it doesn't because ubisoft while they're not great, while they do recycle a lot of franchises, they have such a good job of being a, a publisher that has the annualized franchises like Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, things like that. Yeah. But they it's also like they're trying to make a comeback with that Assassin's Creed. Well, yeah, yeah with Assassin's. I mean, go. and but they also, on the other hand, publish really cool smaller games uh, like Valiant Hearts. I think they published Child of Light. I'm not sure. That was a really cool. I'm looking at that one. That looked really cool. It was great really art good. style and yeah. turn-based battle. And uh, they did great things with Rayman Legends. Mm. I mean, they've got the whole Tom yeah. Clancy suite of games. They've got really an amazing breadth of a catalog, uh, and to see them not be able to control their own destiny anymore, that would really be a, a blow for the industry. So. But by, by Destiny too, mm. it's coming out. That's that's Activision. The new, cool. the new Destiny. Also, right. thank you, Lucy <laughs> Matrim, for saying uh, Lucy Matrim said it was right around Christmas. I've been, I take it it was for. Star Fox's failure too, where it was like the Nintendo and that. So thank you for. No, 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 I think they were talking about the oh. the Super uh, NES Classic. Oh my bad, I'm sorry, but thank you for talking. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yep, sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> like giving the feedback, and we, you, you you loved them when you watched. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate you. Um, so moving on, I think that uh, one other thing, uh, IO Interactive, who developed the Hitman series, uh, the most recent one. They were able to, uh, so they were published by Square Enix. Uh, they were put on the chopping block. Uh, 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 and fortunately, uh, some good news to balance out the unfortunate news with uh, Vivendi and Ubisoft. They were able to secure their independence and somehow retain the Hitman license. Uh, so they're a fully-fledged independent developer now and presumably working on the next Hitman which you guys really should check out the first season. It's an ex excellent game. Uh, and I, I think it's, well, maybe it's not on sale now, but it was on sale last week. But check it out. I'm, I've got the first uh, three episodes. There were five, and I still uh, will get to four and five eventually. But anyway, or that, maybe there's six. Is it the one where you play dress up, or just like you go and you knock somebody out? You've never played a Hitman game? No, I've never played Hitman. I'm a big yeah. stealth guy. Yeah, you do. You, you want to try Metal Gear Solid, though? Oh, you. Wow, you totally got to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm just a poser. <laughs> and I'm poser in a Hawaiian shirt body. That's how it goes. I also love that they have crossovers with Ape Escape too, like Metal Gear Solid. And then like Kojima and the producers of uh, Ape Escape have like little in jokes in their games. Like there's really? one. Yeah, there's in Metal Gear Solid. You go and do like a stealth mission to rescue one of the monkeys from Ape Escape, and vice versa in Ape Escape. There's a little mini game where you sneak around like Snake to rescue Snake. Sweet. Yeah. He's being tortured by this little monkey in like a wig that's just a, like. Doing this to him and it's adorable. Jeez. 
Anyway, so that was that that was good news. That that uh, was surprising because mm-hmm. people thought that was the end of that franchise, or at least in, in that form for a while. Uh, so that that wraps up cruising for news and for us this week, uh, Anthony. I'm gonna let you take the reins for a bit. Okay. Uh, I thought uh, this little the topic of the week section. I I will not lie. I followed heavily older outlines because I was sitting there at work today trying to not do my job and <laughs> write an outline, and I was just like, hmm. I'm like shit, what is this? Mm. What do we do uh, around this yeah. point? Which one are you gonna pick? We got a, we got a couple here. I don't know. I know you hate mobile games, <laughs> so yeah, me yeah. Too. Uh, yeah, everybody else, everybody else but me. <laughs> um, like Pokemon, Go Pokemon Go Plus is good. Pokemon Go Plus the game. Good one. There's I was thinking about like gaming and romance, maybe or like gaming and like kind of relationships. If there's, yeah. uh, I want to hear a story. If you guys have any about stories that. where. Uh, Either a game has brought you close to somebody, you met a girlfriend, or you met a close friend through it. I have one, but it's not yeah. very romantic. <laughs> I want to hear. That's a good. Like, see, you got one already. All right, let's spell it. Spell those beans. Oh, I'm man. scared. When I was briefly <laughs> back right. into Halo Three, this is even before uh, Reach came out, or maybe it was right after Reach came out. But I was like, oh, I have Halo Three to play with it. Oh, this girl I was seeing at the time uh, did some stuff to me while I was playing the game. I went <laughs> 30 and 1. <laughs> Concentrated. 30 and 1. So your KD was like, 30 and 1? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah. That's pretty cool. And, and by, ma- by doing stuff, do you mean she's making you dinner? Like she, she was, like. Yeah, just, you know. Classic. Not being a stereotype at all. <laughs> That's the first thing that pops into my head. I'm sorry. No, it was, it was, it was PC was, culture. No what max. He, what he wants to say is, I right, was the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> she was eating. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's, you ever, water, water's good. I like water. But, but yeah, so like I said, not very romantic. <laughs> all right, well, that's a good way to start it off. Hi, hi Tiffany. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, I remember hearing the story. That's a good story. <laughs> But um, what about you, Wally? Or you, Tyler? I uh, have mostly had video games do the opposite of, of this for me. <laughs> As do most. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's been times where I, they've cultivated lots of friendships, for sure. Um, and I have had some romantic partners within games. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm talking IMVU. I'm talking Sims. No. no voice chat, just text. One of the ways pops in my head is Mass Effect 2, because that oh, was like, geez. that was just... Oh, yeah, you could bone, like, everybody in that game. Right? Yeah, that was just such a game where the characters are getting to a point where they actually were attractive. Like, you know, there's they're the facial recognition realistic is off the enough charts. to where you're like, hmm, you know, Miranda, she's uh, not bad. No, Miranda. So... That's the oh, game man. that sort of sticks out in my head. It's like, actually, it was, you know, a little, a little titillated. That's, it's, it's, I bet you're doing some titillating too. But um, anyway, fun fact: I met the who's the blue girl, the one with the tentacles for hair. Uh, Whoever voices her, I met in real life at a oh, Pax really? after party. Yeah, that's oh, cool. I, went one year. I was wasted. I was dressed up like Ash Ketchum. Can we go to Pax this year? Yeah, let's go. It's real fun. Yeah, it's a good time. Let's go to Pax. You get wasted. You go talk to people you never meet again. And it doesn't matter. It's, it's great. Like, is it this year, or next that year. That's fun. Is it already in like February? Yeah, yeah so we'll have year. to go. Yeah. Yeah, next year, but we gotta get tickets. Like yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Can we go the on, next on Pax? The day. Yeah, we gotta yeah. be real good with those. Um, so I can't think of a good example to give you of when. Nice, dude. But I can definitely think of friendships. Uh, I can definitely think of... Uh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that were... Uh, Dropping a couple of hints. Winks. That were started. Uh, in a, and I have played some Mario Kart and stuff like that with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's always fun. Um, and there's been other times where I've tried to get her into games, and it's it's a struggle. Uh, because they're just not her thing, and that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, that's respectable. Right. That's just how it goes. Yeah. yeah. I just love hearing Eric's story of him like trying to, he's like, when we were really all into magic, when he tried to teach Michelle how to play, and she was not having it. And he's like, come on, just play. And she's like, no, I don't want to. And they, <laughs> I love I love their stories. It's so great. My girlfriend is wolf. Oh, wolf. <laughs> Whoa. Like, I haven't played yeah. in so long. We played, actually, uh, Tricky Towers. What's that? Yet? Uh, it's like a... Uh, physics based Tetris. It's pretty much Tetris except for, you know, your, your things can slip off the side of the uh, 
your structure so oh, really? yeah it just, so it, like you can squeeze things together and it's, it's like a mixture mm-hmm. of like angry birds and tetris everything that you're saying right now is reminding me of the game that tyler has is also on the steam sale right now it's called pp police or in other words oh, general yeah, jousting not... <laughs> general oh, jousting yeah. you control these dicks which you are as players and you have to wiggle into each other's either buttholes or like you gotta go around loops <laughs> and get hoops it's or a, cock rings and stuff it's a very uh, very silly game and it's great to drink too it's hilarious we'll play so it sometime is that yes. the game with just dicks yep. okay yeah, I, watched like, a bit, I watched the trailer for it that's pretty funny <laughs> I'll always notice pee pee police yeah absolutely you can dress them up in little outfits like each little dick a little cop outfit and like a little uh, what was it like Chippendale dancer you yeah. have like a Hawaiian shirt and a hat it's adorable it's great play um, stuff oh uh, yeah it's a good game so I met my girlfriend. So what about <laughs> you? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh. I was gonna say that's awesome. Tyler, any but... uh, romance kindled from uh, the uh, controller? I mean, romance in the controller. Um, I was dating one girl that she was kind of like into games. She was into like a lot of like old school games. I can't even remember what we'll system we were on. Um, but there's one like super difficult ga- game that she used to Sims. always. No, was <laughs> it <Sims. laughs> uh, That she used to always play with her dad when she was younger so when we were dating she would just like whip it out and oh <laughs> she? That's, man aggressive. that's cool it's nice to see the opposite the role reversal <laughs> Brandy, good, role reversal. Like, <laughs> good role reversal good role reversal she whipped out the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure her, yes. her controller was pretty big too, right? That's, that's, that's how all the old ones are. Uh, yeah, you got me. Got me good there. Well, the dust dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, other than that, I mean, I've made some some pretty cool friendships and made some relationships over like playing games on Twitch like a year and a half ago. I met some pretty cool people and things like that. And I mean, some of the people I'll even if they're streaming, I'll pop in and say hey and. Uh, one person that I was had streamed with before, I said had noticed they were streaming, and actually hadn't seen them streaming in a long time. So I'm like, oh hey, but I actually I went in when they were finishing up, and I yeah. was like, oh, well, <laughs> get, get you next time. Definitely, like, definitely definitely a lot I like of how we're supposed to be talking about romance. <laughs> romance, we're all like, I have friends. I have friends. Well, yeah, I got no, romance, maybe bros. Yeah, I mean, definitely had some bromance. Oh yeah. So me and Anthony <laughs> became friends. We yeah. Talked about Soul Silver, and then we went on a hike and ran through the woods to the Skyrim theme song. Yeah, that Whoa. was the first time we hung out. That, that was, was the, tight. That's that was awesome. the first time we yep. ever hung out. Mm-hmm. That is and, uh, a good I, story. I remember like my friend Ryan <laughs> ran through the woods <laughs> to the Skyrim theme song. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was it was a pretty, yeah. it was pretty pretty. My epic. friend Ryan like introduced. Were you playing it on your phone? I was phone? like, oh, I'm not gonna like this person. I don't like people ever. And then as soon as he got out of the car, I'm like, he's fucking awesome. Oh, <laughs> We've been yeah. friends ever since. It's history from there. That's great. Yeah, we got also that same day, we got really high with Ryan in his car. And we were walking to visit one of his friends that worked at the Sunglass Hut at the time in the Holyoke Mall. And we were oh doing God. the South Park uh, episode, Cash for Gold, like, was pretty recent then, like, at that yeah. time. So we, all three of us were going through the mall going, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> what is this song? I know it. It's from South Park. Oh, it's from South Park. Yeah, the right, Cash right, for Gold right. episode. Okay. And I was so okay. high as like we were like walking in like a, we were all one person at the same time, and I was just like <laughs> we were waddling, and I was like nervous to like meet this other person, so we walked into the sunglass hat and it was just like popping around. Yeah, we were derping. <laughs> Back in the day, pretty hard oh, sitting crazy sideways. Kids. Yeah, I, I, I've like I said, I got like you guys said, I got bros. I got good, uh, good friendships over games. Yeah. A lot in high school. I met one of my really close friends in high school through Pokemon because we had we sat at the same table in pottery class. Yeah, and I don't, forget how it came up. And it was just like out of nowhere. He looked at me and he's like this big buff kid. And I never mean, thought. How did it come up? You were probably like, "Hey, like, you like Pokemon? <laughs> I like Pokemon. Let's bring our DSs <laughs> together and play." That's how that's friendships how it start back then. <laughs> pretty much yeah it was in high school and we were just sitting there and I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it happened and I was like yeah I can bring my copy of Diamond into school and we can trade yeah. and got a cool Lucario that way cool Lucario it's a good one so. but yeah that's that's about it for me I'm not there's, there's a, not much room for romance no <laughs> not when you gotta schedule like me when you sleep and eat most of the time yeah. <laughs> so, alright uh, I think, I think that's gonna about it. wrap it up this week um Thanks for tuning in if you watch this live on Twitch. And uh, thanks for listening if you're listening on a podcast. We'll be back up next week. New episodes uh, live every Tuesday. Up on podcast services on Wednesday. Um, Again, uh, I'm Wiley Olmstead. Tyler. I'm Tyler Hadley. That's him. And that's him.
I wish I had a gold <laughs> chain. Action to wrapped put in on. here. Sorry for last week, guys. Don't lose faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Once again, this is the Level with You show. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and uh, if you do have a question, we're eventually going to get to a point where people are asking them. Uh, Hopefully. Feel free to leave it in the comments, and maybe you'll get a shout-out on yeah, next week's show. Yeah, leave it in the comments, leave it in the chat. Love leave to get it. back to you. Thanks for watching. Send us an email, levelwithyougames at gmail.com. All oh, right. Thanks for watching that. our show. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. And uh, while they're waving, I'm going to go turn the stream off. Uh, Thanks uh, for uh, watching our show. And now, an just, acapella. Just, just keep waving. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. It's been great. Thank you so much for watching. No grand piano sound. Thanks so much. Keep watching.